Okay, good day, dear students. Uh, now we will continue our previous lecture of reproductive system, female reproductive system. Uh, we was stopped. We were stopped on the uterus, and uh, we will continue from this topic. And uh, uterus is the pear-shaped structure attached to oviducts and the upper end and to vagina at lower end. Uh, uterus is divided into three regions, body, fundus, and cervix. All of body and fundus has uh, three layers, endometrium, myometrium, and adventitia and serosa. I will explain you later why adventitia and serosa. As you can see on this diagram, it is shown histological structure of uterus. So this is mucosa layer. Uh, endometrium and it has two zonas, uh, zona functionalis and zona vasalis and uh, this is myometrium, smooth muscle layer, large uh, smooth muscle layer uh, which is called myometrium and the outer is serosa, the perimetrium, uh, mesothelium. In some parts of uh, uterus it is adventitia and uh, this is endometrium. Endometrium consists of tubular glands. Here you can see these glands. And this is enlarged picture, uh, enlarged diagram. And uh, there are um, connective tissue and uh, simple columnar epithelium. Here also you can see three layers of uh, uterus, uh, endometrium, myometrium, and adventitia. This is wall of uterus. And this is uh, histological structure of endometrium mostly. Uh, here it is simple columnar epithelium, uh, endometrial stroma, and endometrial gland. And uh, this is stratum functionalis, and uh, this is stratum basalis, and uh, this is endometrium. You can uh, see it on next diagrams. Uh, what is the difference between these two uh, mm, stratums? And this is myometrium. Uh, anterior portion of body uh, covered by adventitia, which is composed of areolar connective tissue, and the remaining portion of uterus covered by serosa, composed of layers of simple squamous cells, or mesothelium, resting on the uh, areolar connective tissue. Uh, myometrium. Myometrium is the thick thickest layer and composed of four poorly defined layers of smooth muscle separated by connective tissue. Inner and outer layers are mostly longitudinal and orientation, and middle layers are highly vascularized and consist of mostly circularly arranged bundle of smooth muscle cells. Arcoid arteries located in these layers and is known as uh, stratum vascular. Uh, middle layers uh, thicken uh, during pregnancy uh, with more and large smooth muscle cells, hyperplasia or, and hypertrophy, uh, and um, increased collagen fibers. Myometrium is estrogen uh, dependent in absence of estrogen smooth muscle cells uh, and atrophies and some of uh, the begin to apoptosis. And the endometrium. Endometrium is the mucosal uh, lining of uterus, composed of a simple columnar epithelium. Epithelium has uh, ciliated columnar cells and uh, secretory columnar cells. Lamina propria composed of dense irregular connective tissue and vessels supports epithelium and houses simple tubular glands. Uh, the glands have uh, not ciliated cells. Endometrium has two zones. Functional layer and basal layer. Functional layer is the 
thick superficial layer uh, sloughed off during menstruation and uh, replaced during each menstrual cycle. And functional layer uh, vascularized by coiled helical arteries uh, that originate from arcuate arteries in stratum vascular. And basal layer is a deep narrow layer uh, retained after menstruation whose glands, epithelium and connective tissue element regenerate functional layer. Basal layer uh, supplied by short straight arteries which originate from arcuate arteries in stratum vascular. And uh, about menstrual cycle. Estrogen and progesterone from ovary stimulate changes in the endometrium. The average uh, menstrual cycle is 28 days. Uh, begins age is about 12 to 15 years old and ends age is about 45 50 years old. The menstrual cycle has uh, three main phases. Menstrual phase, days 1st uh, to 4. Uh, proliferative or follicular phase days uh, from 5 to 14 and ovulation around day 14 and secretory luteal phase uh, days from 15th uh, to 28th dates and on this diagram you can see uh, changes uh, during menstrual cycle mm. Here it is shown two layers of uh, uterus, endometrium and myometrium. And uh, these are dates of uh, menstrual cycle days. Mm, and uh, there are changes which are going on in, uh, during menstrual cycle in endometrium. And this is uh, stratum basal, basalis and uh, functionalis. And uh, as you can see, and this is menstruation, days 1 to 5. Uh, it is going sloughing off uh, stratum functionalis. Uh, and uh, then it is going regeneration, days from 5 to 6. Mm, proliferation, days uh, 6 to 15. You can see here it becomes more thick and... Uh, uh, endometrial glands becomes more longer and uh, increase in their sizes mm -hmm. and uh, secretory days uh, from 16th uh, to 26th uh, days you can see here uh, endometrium also becomes more thicker and thicker mm. and uh, this is a uh, ischemic days so 27 to 28 uh, it is going contraction Ischemia and the necrosis and menstruation occurs and again uh, it, it starts from first day menstruation and uh, continue to, te to 28 uh, days if fertilization does not occur here. Uh, prolifera proliferative or follicular phase uh, days from uh, 5 to 14 leading up to ovulation estrogen produced by thicker cells of ovarian follicle cells of gland bases uh, proliferate forming simple columnar epithelium and tubular glands of endometrium connective tissue cells proliferate in lamina propria uh, coiled arteries grow into regenerated lamina propria. Functionalis of endometrium become 2 to 3 millimeters in thickness and glands have uh, straight tubes with narrow lemons but their cells accumulate glycogen. At the day 14 the functional layer has been fully restored. As you remember on previous diagram here you can see uh, this is proliferation days and uh, uh, this is uh, an endometrial gland fully regenerated and the next is the uh, secretory luteal phase uh, begins after ovulation 
uh, days 15 to 28, uh, corpus luteum forms and produces progesterone. Uh, glands develop further, uh, become highly coiled, branched, and uh, begin to secrete. Coiled arteries also attain full development. Endometrium uh, reaches 5 mm in thickness due to edema and accumulated glycogen secretions of the glands. And then uh, menstrual cycle phase, or menstrual phase. If fertilization does not take place, uh, the corpus luteum stops secreting hormones after about 14 days. Um, progesterone and estrogen decrease, causing coiled arteries to intermittently constrict cutting of blood, blood flow to the functional layer of endometrium. Endometrial cells uh, die and, and the functional layer is uh, sloughed off. Uh, then coiled arteries dilate, uh, dilate once again because uh, they are weakened, uh, they rupture. Uh, the dis disgorged blood res removes patches mm, of the functional layer as menses. Vessels uh, distal to constrictions are shed with the functional layer causing some bleeding. About about 35 milliliters blood loss occurred during menstruation. And about uh, uterine cervix. Uh, cervix is the lower part of uterus uh, that protrudes into vagina. It is lined by mucus secreting simple uh, columnar epithelium. Part of cervix in upper vagina has stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium. Lamina propria, composed of mostly dense connective tissue and many elastic fibers and a few smooth muscle cells. Mucosa do not slough off during menstruation, like in endometrium in uterus. Cervical mucosa contains branched cervical glands. At time of ovulation, cervical glands secrete a serous fluid at other time, the secretion become uh, viscous and during pregnancy forming a plaque. Softening of cervix during uh, parturition is due to lysis of collagen. Here uh, it is shown the, the histological structure of uh, cervix. Here you can see smooth muscle. and. Uh, <coughs> This is endocervix, canal of the cervix, is covered by a simple columnar epithelium of mucus secreting cells that lines deep uh, crypts. You can see here deep crypts, mm -hmm. and it is called endocervix canal, cervical canal. This is a simple columnar epithelium. As you see, this is a nucleus, this is one cell. A nucleus inside, and uh, you can see like brush like uh, layers, uh, cilia on the upper surface. And uh, mm, this is a, a stratified squamous epithelium on the external opening side of cervix. You can see here this is internal uh, and the cervix and ectocervix. And uh, here it is shown uh, also a simple columnar epithelium and uh, stratified a squamous non keratinized epithelium. You can see. And here it is a uh, junction of the differing types of epithelium occurs at the external opening site. Here you can see junction. Here you can see simple columnar epithelium ciliated. And here it is beginning of uh, stratified squamous non-keratinized epithelium vagina. Uh, vagina uh, in vagina, a thick stratified squamous non-keratinized epithelium lines the vaginal mucosa. Estrogen stimulates epithelium to synthesize glycogen 
Mucosa has not length, but uh, increment of fluid during uh, sexual arousal is due to translate from vessels of lamina propria and secretion of cervical glands. Underlying lamina propria are composed of loose connective tissue that are uh, highly vascularized with many elastic fibers. And muscular layer of circular and prominent longitudinal smooth muscle fibers. And adventitia uh, composed of dense regular connective tissue with elastic fibers, many vessels and vast uh, numerous uh, vast venous flexes and nerves. And here on this diagram it is shown histological structure of vagina, of layers of vagina. Mm -hmm. yeah, here you can see serosa layer, uh, muscularis, uh, lamina propria, and uh, multilayered uh, squamous keratinized epithelium. And uh, the tubular vagina has a thick wall consisting of uh, multilayered epithelium. Lamina propria, muscularis, and serosa. And uh, as I told you, the vagina has no glands, and the lubrication comes from serum exudate during sexual activity. Here you can see squamous of uh, keratinized epithelium. Here it is. As you remember, keratinized epithelium, this is a diet, mm, squamous cells without nucleus mm -hmm. and uh, here it is shown also muscular layer this is multi-layered epithelium uh, thick multi-layered epithelium and then blood vessels blood vessels and serosa Uh, female urethra. Uh, female urethra is about uh, 3 to 5 uh, centimeters in length. It is lined by transitional epithelium near bladder and uh, stratified squamous non keratinized in reminder portion. Uh, patches of pseudo stratified columnar is uh, interspersed. And lamina propria is a fiber elastic connective tissue. Uh, mucus secreting glands of uh, lucha are numerous along it, its length and muscular layer is, is composed of an outer circular and inner and longitudinal smooth muscle fibers. When the retro appears uh, your genital diaphragm, a sphincter of skeletal muscle surrounds it. And that's why the uh, human body can control the contraction of uh, urethra. External genitalia or, or vulva. Mm. External genitalia is consists of uh, mons pubis, labia majora, labia minora, clitoris, Bartolin's glands, Bartolin's glands, uh, minor vestibular glands, and hymen. Mons pubis is the uh, orline symphysis pubis covered by skin. Uh, that underneath it is a pad of fat. And labia majora are skin folds with an adipose core and a thin layer of smooth muscle. Skin with the coarse hair on their external surface, sweat and uh, sebaceous glands, many nerve fibers are present here. And labia minora are folds of skin without hair and with a uh, core of spongy connective tissue with elastic fibers. Skin with a uh, sebaceous gland and sweat glands and many nerve fibers are present in labia minora. And uh, let's talk about external genitalia. Mm, clitoris is an embryonic uh, homolog of penis and contains uh, two erectile tissue bodies covered by stratified squamous epithelium heavily innervated and uh, Bartolin's glands are mucus secreting glands with the ducts opening into the vestibule of vagina 
and minor vestibular glands are also opened into vestibule. Hymen is a thin fold of epithelially enclosed fibrovascular connective tissue uh, that narrow the orifice of vagina in a virgin. And on this diagram, you can see here anatomy of external genital organs, female uh, genital organs. Uh, this is mons pubis, uh, prepuce of clitoris, uh, clitoris or glands, labia majora, uh, labia minora, hymen. It is ruptured, mm -hmm. ritual orifice, uh, vaginal orifice, opening of the duct uh, of the greater vestibular gland. And this is the anus and the vestibule. And here also you can see ducts of Bartholine's gland. Here, it is Bartholine's gland, and this is the ducts and the external retro orifice. Um, and about mammary glands. Mammary glands, uh, gland consists of 15 to 25 lobes of compound uh, tubular SNR glands, similar to apocrine sweat glands. And glands secrete by apocrine mechanism, uh, lipids, and exocytosis, the proteins. Each lobe surrounded uh, by dense regular connective tissue and adipose tissue. Connective tissue surrounding uh, SNE has many plasma cells and lymphocytes, uh, uh, sources of milk, immunoglobulins. Uh, each lobe has its own duct leading into lactiferous ducts of nipple. Interlobular ducts have simple cuboidal epithelium surrounded by myoepithelial cells and lactiferous sinuses lined by stratified squamous epithelium that changes to stratified columnar or cuboidal deeper in uh, lactiferous ducts. And glandular cells uh, proliferate during pregnancy. Here it is shown the diagram of mammary gland and here you can see this is the pectoralis major muscle um, pectoral fat pad this is fat uh, suspensory ligaments ligaments uh, lobes of the mammary gland uh, lactiferous duct uh, lactiferous sinus here and the areola and nipple and uh, on this diagram also you can see uh, the structure of mammary gland uh, here you can see duct system duct system inactive inactive duct system uh, terminal interlobular duct here it is, uh, and the lactiferous sinus, mm, adipose tissue surrounds the structures, and this is lobule, lobule of mammary gland, and the uh, tubular alveolar um, secretory units active, and lactiferous ducts, and openings of lactiferous ducts here. Uh, on the surface of the nipple and here you can see uh, ribs and muscles ribs and muscles and on this diagram you can see the differences between non-pregnant uh, mammary gland during pregnancy and lactating mammary gland non-pregnant gland in active uh, inactive uh, duct system you can see here and during pregnancy, alveoli proliferate at the ends of the ducts. You can see here. And in lactating uh, mammary glands, uh, milk secretion and accumulation in alveolar lemon is going on. You can see here, increase in size. 
Mm -hmm. And about areola and nipple. Areola is a circular, highly uh, pigmented skin around nipple. Uh, color darkness during pregnancy due to increased melanin production by melanocytes. Areola contains uh, sweet and sebaceous glands and also areolar glands of uh, Montgomery that resemble both sweat and memory glands. Nipple is a protuberance at the center of areola that is covered by stratified squamous keratinized epithelium. And terminal portion of uh, lactiferous ducts and uh, at nipple. And the core of nipple is composed of dense collagenous connective tissue with abundant uh, elastic fibers connected to skin. Abundant smooth muscle fibers arranged in circular way around nipple and in longitudinal way along a uh, long axis of the nipple. And here uh, it is shown histological structure of nipple. You can see here uh, ducts of uh, opening ducts. Uh, and here it is shown uh, smooth muscles, connective tissue, uh, stratified um, squamous keratinized epithelium, blood vessels connective tissue and fat somewhere some in some places and uh, on this diagram it is shown the um, fertilization uh, of various steps uh, leading to fertilization of the ovum and first uh, here uh, sperm head binds to, binds to zona pellucida this is on a pellucida, as you remember, and uh, it is going binding of uh, sperm head. Then second, it is going uh, acrosome reaction. Acrosome reaction of sperm is induced in sperm head. And third, it is going uh, penetration of the zona. Uh, and here you can see the zona is penetrated. And next step is fusion with the ovum in uh, pyruvate line space. Uh, sperm head <coughs> binds to all lemma and fuses with the with the it. This is <coughs> all lemma and fuses with it. And sperm uh, next step is entry. Uh, sperm sink thinks uh, into the ovoplasm into the ovoplasm and uh, here you can see uh, cortical uh, granule discharge also and then last step is uh, sperm nucleus de the condenses in pre preparation of conjugation with the oocyte nucleus here this is more male pronucleus and female pronucleus then it get fused and it becomes 46 chromosomes here is you remember from embryology uh, here it is 23 chromosomes and here also 23 chromosomes mm, because of meiosis only in germ cells occurs meiosis as you remember and uh, it becomes 46 chromosomes and uh, uh, then it is going uh, it becomes fertilized egg Okay, uh, on this slide uh, our lecture is finished and uh, I hope you, I hope that it was understanding. Uh, have a nice day. Thank you for attention. Bye.